In this video, we will take a look at how you can create bubble particles and also applying a shader to make them more bubbly. Source code for this project is down in the description and if you find this helpful, please subscribe. So let's dive in. So open up Godot and make this a new 3D scene. Then hit the plus button and search for GPU. Add a GPU particles 3D and hit create. And you'll get this warning and to fix that we will go into the draw passes. On pass 1 we will make this a sphere mesh. Scroll down and on the material make a new standard material 3D. Open up the material and on transparency enable... I'm gonna drag this out a little bit so it's easier to see. On transparency make it alpha. This will allow us to change the transparency of the material later. For example if we go into albedo we can make the alpha more transparent. If we don't have transparency on alpha it won't work. I'm gonna make it a bluish transparent so it's a little bit blue and lower alpha. I'm also gonna give it some emission and enable emission. I'm also gonna make this the same color as the albedo color and I'm gonna make the energy multiplier something like 5. Now we can close down the draw pass and go into the process material and make a new particle process material. You'll see it start falling. We can open it up and we can go into the spawn and on position we can change the emission shape from a point to a box. And a tip is to know the size of the box, we can just increase the amount. So let's just drag it out. Maybe that's a little bit too much because my computer can't really handle that. So let's say 2000. And then you can freely just change the shape to fit the area you want. So let's say you want it to be zero on the X and I'm gonna keep it to the original one by one by one. I'm gonna decrease the amount to like 10. Right now it's going down and bubbles go up. So on accelerations and on gravity, we will make it go up and let's make it go up by two. And I'm also gonna go into the display and scale and make a scale curve, so new curve texture and open up the curve and we will drag these points down to the bottom and I'm gonna decrease this, I already know I want point 0.1 this allows us to easily change the scale of the points and the last point drag it up to the top you might want to make them smaller at the end you could also expand on this by making a pop at the end I've made a explosion tutorial on that so you could make a sub emitter at the end and make it pop and now we will go into the time and I like setting things to random it will make things a little bit more random so make this one and the time we can make it something like two now I'm gonna drag in a, a model I've made of some corals I'm gonna move up the particles a little bit and here we could increase the amount more so we can see that it covers the full area so I think this is fine but we could increase it to let's say 0.3 and make this for all of them and that will make it cover the whole area decrease the amount again to something like 10 and that's looking pretty good and I'm also gonna make a audio stream player so on the plus I'm gonna search for audio and since this is a 3D scene we want a audio stream player 3D add this something like in the middle of this something like that on the stream I like making them random so audio stream randomizer and open up the streams and add element we can drag in our sound effect I'm gonna make the random pitch uh, 1.2 this is a good middle ground you might want to make it lower like 1.1 and now if we set it to playing you'll hear it it's quite um, low volume so I'm gonna increase the decibel and I'm gonna increase the max decibel so I increased the attention filter and made the decibel zero so now I can hear it it's basically just a simple bubble sound and you might want to make it loop as well so you can just double click on your audio file and on import you will see loop mode and you can make it forward it will make it loop around so we can re-import it now if we set it to playing it will just uh, repeat over and over again 
I'm gonna set it to not playing anymore. And now we can finish up with adding a shader to the particles. And for this, I'm gonna be using a distortion bubble shader. And it's made by the last flapjack. And it's um, license is CC0 and you can simply just go to the shader code and in the top right hit copy you can minimize this and on the particle we go into the draw pass and on the material there is a next pass and this allows us to add a shader to it so we want to add a shader material open up the shader material and make a new shader i'm gonna create it and paste the code into the shader now you will see that it's looking a little bit different and that's because we need to add some noise textures to the shader. You can make a new noise texture 2D, open it up and on noise make a new fast noise light. And I'm also gonna make the texture seamless, that's a good practice for noise textures. Copy it and paste it onto the other ones. And next we can set the color to something blue, because bubbles are blue right? something nice like that and we can see a preview on the material right here and if we change these values we can see how it affects the material i'm gonna make the fresnel amount something like 0.1 and you can just mess around with these until you get something that you like and this is making them spin around it seems like so something like that looks good there we have it it's looking pretty good and you can see that it's when we move around it's changing how it looks and that's due to the render priority. We can make the render priority 1 on the shader. So now when we move around it will look the same. Thanks for watching and special thanks to our Ko-Fi members for making this video possible. If you want to support our work and have your name featured in future videos, check out our Ko-Fi in the description. And we'll see you in the next one.